Living at depths of up to 5,000 feet, the hagfish is one of the strangest creatures in the ocean. And there's plenty on the list. The goblin shark, sea spiders, red-lipped batfish, and even people swimming during winter. Ah, It's freezing, man! Get out! Although it looks like an eel, this fish belongs to the agnatha species. That's fish without jaws. And the family also includes lampreys. Terrifying monsters with disc-shaped suction cup mouths filled with spiraling rows of teeth. Hmm. Hagfish have two tongues, four hearts, and no eyes or stomach. Like something from another planet. And what sets them apart from anything on this planet is that they have a skull but no spine. They don't have bones either. That unique spineless skull is made entirely out of cartilage. The same stuff in your ears and nose. That's right. Scaleless with skin that seems to fit over them like an oversized holiday sweater. It'd be a mistake to think this frail little creature would be an easy dinner. They've evolved to escape from other fish like Houdini's of the deep. And the trick is slime. Lots of it. When something tries to gobble them up or gets just too close for comfort, hagfish release a protein from the holes lining their sides. When this stuff meets the surrounding water, it balloons dramatically, as in 10,000 times. The more water touches it, the bigger this goo ball gets. A teaspoon of hagfish slime can turn into a bucketful in a second. It instantly clogs the gills of any fish trying to chomp down on our slimy friend, even sharks. But hagfish have gills too. So why doesn't the slime block their own? Easy peasy. This hagfish will simply tie itself into a knot and scrape the slime off its body. Doesn't mean their slime comes without inconveniences. Sometimes it gets in the hagfish's tiny nose. To get rid of it, they make themselves sneeze. Sort of. Gesundheit. This fish's homemade goo is made of flexible strands that are surprisingly strong. As in, stronger than nylon. Imagine falling into a pool of the stuff. You'd struggle to move your arms and legs to swim. It might feel like rubber bands tying you up. But you'd be perfectly safe as long as the stuff doesn't get in your nose or throat. In that case, you'd be as unfortunate as those gilled creatures trying to bite into the slimy fish. And hey, our own species is eyeballing it for loads of potential uses. From parachutes to cars and even clothing. Forget about diving in a pool of this goo. You could be wearing a slime suit in the future. But when it comes to landish creatures, the platypus is just as weird. This mammal has a duck bill, a beaver tail, webbed feet, and lays eggs. Like a lot of fish, the platypus and its relative, the echidna, have no stomach. But they don't need one. They store their food in their cheeks until they surface. Once they've eaten, the food goes straight to their gut. Just when the platypus couldn't get any stranger, they also sweat milk for their platypops. When winter has put bears, bats, snakes, and even myself into hibernation, there's one animal that does things a little differently. During the cold season, the wood frog lets itself freeze, sometimes for up to seven months. Like a brown popsicle, they fill their body with a syrupy, unnatural antifreeze to stop crystals from forming. And when the right time comes, they can just thaw themselves out, even multiple times a season. These frogs will find a nice covered area in the forest and wait until spring comes. Once they're thawed, they'll hop away like nothing happened at all. When your name's the boxer crab, you have to live up to it. Ding ding! Round one! This little crab is super smart. It has sea anemones living in its claws, and these DIY boxing gloves pack a punch. Carrying around these little tentacled sea creatures helps this tiny crab defend itself against fish and anything bigger than it. When feeling disturbed, the crab starts swinging and its gloves start stinging. The tentacles of sea anemones are covered in stinging cells that help the animal capture its lunch. Yep, that's no plant, it's a hungry beast. It's a win-win relationship. For helping the crab protect itself, the gloves get a fun ride around the ocean floor and free meals. Its other names don't sound as tough, but I assure you, the pom-pom or cheerleader crab looks cute but shouldn't be messed with. If you're afraid of spider webs, this is one to avoid. 
Darwin's bark spider is an orb weaver type that creates a jaw-droppingly large web for a penny-sized spidey. The silk in its web is 10 times stronger than Kevlar and double the strength of any other spiders on the planet. And the webs themselves can be as big as a king-sized bed. Not that you'd want to sleep in one. Their web bridges are even more impressive. They can be over 80 feet long. The spiders build them across rivers to catch bugs flying over the water. Or you, rafting down the rapids. Watch out! And here I thought I spent too much time on the web. Gone to the beach on a hot sunny day when you realize you're out of sunblock. Hey, just do what hippos do. When they sweat, they create their own sunscreen. Living in the water for most of its life, a hippo's skin must stay wet to keep hydrated. When they do have to venture out of the water, something strange happens. The red or pink color we sometimes see on hippos are little beads of fluid that absorb the sun's UV and protect the skin from burning. They're also highly acidic to help stop bacteria growing on the skin. Hippos might look big and clumsy, but they could easily outrun and outswim the best Olympic athletes out there. Must be why the ancient Greeks called them hippopotamus, the river horse. Now, when you're a plant, it's hard to defend yourself. But not for the acacia tree. It has built-in bodyguards, ants. When a few of the leaves are getting nibbled on, the vibrations alert the ant brigade to head out and stop the trespasser. Living in the hollow thorns of the branches, the acacia ants come out and shock the hungry animal with their wasp-like stinger. The tree is so grateful to the ants that it feeds them yummy nectar. Not only do the ants stop animals from grazing too much, they also help improve the tree's health by reducing the bacteria that would be on the leaves. Now, never heard of a sea squirt? I don't recommend getting too close unless you want water in your face. The sea squirt may look like an underwater plant, but it's an animal more closely related to us than a cockroach. These squishy little creatures are in an umbrella category with vertebrates, like you, me, and anyone or anything else with a fancy backbone. That big, happy family is called the chordates. Starting as little tadpole-like larvae, sea squirts wiggle around in the ocean for a short time until they find a nice bit of water to call their own. Since they're unable to feed themselves, drastic measures must be taken. And I mean drastic. Like oysters, barnacles, and mussels, the sea squirt has a glue-like substance that cements it to the first place it lands. Once they've picked their forever home, they need to start eating. The first thing to go is their own tail. Then they absorb their gills and even their brain. No longer need the ability to navigate the ocean, it's become unnecessary. They're not heartless, though. The sea squirt's ticker is very similar to a human's. It even looks a little like ours. Now, here's one you won't forget. Lobsters, crayfish, and crabs have teeth in their stomachs. After they gulp something down, the food in their stomach gets ground up by large teeth. This is called gastric milling, and it helps the crustaceans digest it easier. One species of crab had to take it a step further, of course. The ghost crab uses these teeth not only for eating, but also to growl. By grinding their tummy teeth when scared or struggling with another crab, they're warning to get away. Well, when you don't have vocal cords, stomach growling will have to do. They're also the fastest type of crab on the planet. They can move 100 body lengths per second. That'd be like you running one and a half football fields in the blink of an eye. Whoa, look at that!